Welcome to another Mac Minute. Today we're going to talk about the processes that are running on your machine. Just like in Windows when you do Control Delete and you look at your processes to see what is running, you can do the same thing on a Mac. However, it's just not done through Control Delete. The Mac platform actually runs on top of a Unix kernel, so it re you really need to do it a little bit different way than Control Delete. But it's really easy to get to and it is there. In fact, it's much more information than what you get from the process monitor inside of Windows. So to get there, you can just go to your applications, and if you scroll down, you're gonna see a, a folder called Utilities. All right, here's Utilities. Inside there is Activity Monitor. So you click on Activity Monitor, and it loads up something that looks very similar. However, one other thing that you're going to notice is you actually can see your disk activity and a bunch of other stuff down here as well, including network activity, all inside this one program. So this is, if you're a Unix person, you would know this as top, or a variation of top, and you can see right here uh, all your CPU processes, the number of threads, how much memory it's using, and these are all 64-bit apps. Here's a 32-bit here's a app running right here. So you can come down, and you can actually kill, if you want to click on, click on this, you can kill your process from here. You can do some inspections on it, things like that, just to check out the process. If you come down here at the bottom, you see that out of the system memory, I still have 12.63 gigabytes free of RAM, uh, I have 1.9 gigabytes in the wired mode, active 1.04 gigabytes, inactive 424 megabytes, and I've used a total of 3.36 3, 3 gigabytes. Uh, the virtual memory size right here, the number of page in and pages out, page out, swaps, and here you can see the memory usage. If you go to CPU, you can, you'll get a CPU graph down here running across as it goes across, and right now I'm running at 0%, so you're not gonna see anything down here at the bottom. I am running at 98.5% idle for the most part. And then you also see your disk IO, and you see graphs for disk IO right here. And you see your reads in, reads out, stuff like that. More, more lots of detail. Your disk usage, and then your network usage as well. So you see right here, I'm sending out lots of data, and that's probably because I got things running in the background. I'm not really receiving much data. So that's what this is for. So. The other thing you can do, and I like doing this, especially if I'm running some, uh, on, I have a eight core machine that I use a lot for rendering and I want to know how it's performing. One of the things you can do at the top is you come up here to window and you go to floating CPU window and now I want to say vertical. And you see down at this bottom right here, this right here is my CPU usage. So you see I have eight cores in this machine and this is the representation of what each core is, and how busy it is right now. You can see it's not, not very busy. And one of the things you would notice up there is I had some options. I can make this horizontal or vertical. I actually generally run it vertical and where it went by default is typically where I leave it, which is right down here, because it's kind of out of the way. And that's only when I'm doing something I know is CPU intense and I'm kind of uh, monitoring the activity of the CPU. So there's lots of other options in here as well. You can change what columns you see, how often you update. It looks like there's even a dock icon, which I can't say that I ever really used before. I'm gonna show CPU usage. And actually, you see it right here. The dock icon is going to show me my CPU usage. So I never tried that before. Something new. That's something new every day. But that's it for Activity Monitor. That's how you find what you're used to seeing in Windows when you do Control Delete and looking at the Process Monitor. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the TechZen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the TechZen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.